just in that grace of fear. The hours believe my chains are. His word, my hope, secures. He will my shield and portion be as long as life endures. My chains are gone. I've been set free. The earth shall soon dissolve like snow. The sun forbear to shine. But God, who called me here below, will be forever. Will be forever mine. He is forever mine. Oh, he 
me and this little fella's been looking forward to this. Oh, God! <laughs> Yeah. 
I didn't take a bath for three days while I was up there. Boy, some of y'all wouldn't want me to be around the guy back. But anyhow, he was there. He was wanting to get in touch with God. But things delayed the answer coming to him. And that's what we got today. A lot of times, Sister Dolly, we be praying and asking God to help us, and our prayer gets delayed. Why is it getting delayed? Because of Satan. That's what it is. There's demons in this world today. There's fallen angels that come down with the devil down here in this earth, and they are running about, and they don't want that prayer to reach God. They are hindering Daniel. And that's what the devil does to us today. He's got different ranks of angels himself. They're down here walking about seeking who they may devour. You get out on your mule knees and start praying to God. He ain't going to get out there, but praise God. He will be standing beside of you wanting you to get up and want to keep the angel from coming to you. But let me tell you what. God is with you and he's going to protect you. You just don't give up. What it was, Daniel had patience. And my wife used to say, I ain't got no patience. Don't pray for me to have patience. Brothers and sisters, today we got to have patience or we ain't going to make it to heaven. We've got to wait on God's timing, not my timing, not Sister Dolly's timing, or nobody else. We've got to wait on God's timing. And here it is. The angel, the old devil's angel, he's keeping, keeping the angel away from Daniel. Daniel's praying. He's down there. Pouring his heart out to God. I know how this feels. To be pouring your heart out to God. And you won't get an answer. I have been down there. And stayed there. For four to five hours. And not get an answer. And be praying and asking God. Give me an answer. One phone call. One thing here. And I'm trying to force God. To give me that answer. But the devil and his angels were there forcing the angel of the heavenly father or he can't get to me. And that's what he does to us today. He'll be standing there fighting and wrestling against God's angels. You see, God's got different ranks of angels. Just like the old devil had. The devil's got some that's they are weaker than the other, sort of like me. Out of the old age, I'm getting weak. Uh, I can't do the work that Cecil does now. But praise God, I can still do some. But anyhow, the weaker angels, the old devils of uh, Satan, he sends them to the weaker ones. And you look around today in our world. Lord, it's Folks seem like they don't care no more. What they used to do behind the barn, they bring it out in the open. They're not ashamed of it no more. Daniel is praying for the children of Israel, and God's going to give him what over the next chapter needs to know. And see, the devil don't want that to get out. He don't want our prayer to get out. He don't want it to reach God. He wants to hinder. He wants to block the door and shut the door there. For the angel from heaven can't get to him. Just picture Daniel Mouse standing down here praying and an angel between Daniel, this is no Satan, and here comes the angel from heaven trying to get in here to Daniel to give him the answer. But devil, he's wrestling 
wrestling with it. They wrestled and touched with back and forth. And what did the verse say there? He had to call in a different rank, didn't he? He called the chief one in. You see, God's got the chief one. And, and, and Gabriel has showed up to a lot of things now. You, you, got, you got some problems? You call Gabriel. He'll remove them. And this, when Gabriel shows up, the mighty angel there, he just reached over and, and grabbed the old Satan angel there and sort of drug him to the side. Said, all right, now you, you go ahead and tell Daniel what God sent you down here to do. And what did he do? He did. He, he went over and he told him. He said, I want you to know. God heard your prayer immediately. But I couldn't get here. I couldn't get here. The devil had the roadblock. But now I've come here to give you the word. Brothers and sisters, when Daniel was down there, and a hand touched him. Now you just read the rest of the chapter. When the hand touched Daniel down there, he come up a trembling. And I know how that felt. I've been there and I've been in such deep trance of praying and praising God till a hand laid up on my shoulder there. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you what. I ain't seen nothing but I felt the hand. And when God touches you, there's something there special that, that you can't get rid of. Amen. The Spirit of God touched me. I even looked around to see if it was my wife, sister daughter. To see if it was her. I seen no one. But let me tell you what. When God lays that gentle hand on you, He's coming through. He's coming through. So all we ought to do today is to ask God. Wait patiently. Because He's coming through. He's coming through. God's got the answer. The answer's on His way, Sister Nyla. It's on His way. Daniel didn't give up. 21 days. He's seeking for the answer. Let's don't give up. Let's don't give up. I'm too close to the end of the road for me to give up. Amen. And I'm going to continue to move forward is all I can. It tells us over here in the book of Ephesians. In fact, when I first got saved, Sister Dodd, God gave me this verse just by and learned to read. Now I had to look at it. I had learned to read. He said, go read chapter 6 in all twelve. He said, read Ephesians 6 in all twelve. You know what? Who is talking about put on the whole armor of God? Daniel had the whole armor of God on him. Or he would he had to give up. Put on the whole because we ain't wrestling against we were wrestling against principles. The devil all the and you just name it down in the princes of this world. They trying to delay us. Let me tell you what. He said, put on the whole arm of God. Put on the whole arm of God. I learned the hard way, Sister Dolly. I learned the hard way to put on the whole arm of God. Put it on. You withstand. He said, stand therefore, having your lawn guarded about the truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness. Praise God today. It's time for America to start standing up for what is right. Amen. We need to stand. Stand and be a witness for God. 
I had one more here that I wanted to read. Romans 15 and 30. Let's just thank him. He's done put it there. The answer is not coming. 